Hey guys, I hope y'all are having a great day today. So we're going to be checking out the new Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb Highlighter Palette. So Fenty took three of their popular gloss bomb shades and they turned them into pressed highlighters. So we're going to be playing around with this today as both highlighter and as eyeshadow. This is actually my first time in maybe over a year buying pressed highlighters because I just have so many and I just felt like I just didn't need any more. And I haven't really been using highlighter like that anyway, but I was really excited when this one came out so I'm really looking forward to playing around with this today so we're going to test it out and I will let y'all know what I think so before we get into this if you're here for the first time hello and welcome thank you so much for stopping by my name is Sonia Nicole and I do makeup videos here including some stuff for us 40 and over makeup lovers so I really hope that you'll consider subscribing today I would really appreciate your support and I would love to have you join the channel okay y'all let's jump right into it Okay guys, so here is the new Diamond Bomb Highlighter Palette. And as you can see, there are three shades here. They do tell you what the shades are on the back of the packaging as well. So this one down here is the shade Fussy. It's like a pink shade. The one in the middle is Fenty Glow. It's almost like a rose gold shade. And then the deeper one up here is Hot Chocolate. It's more of like a brownie shade. And then all of them, I'm hoping that you can see, I'll try to put it up close. I hope y'all can see that it does have like some really gold like reflex in there and these are supposed to be kind of like borderline like glittery shades so they're not supposed to be like that smooth shimmer it's supposed to be more of like a um, a highlighter with not a lot of base color but like subtle glitter as opposed to shimmer if that makes sense so it retails for $42 so it is a little bit more expensive than the single diamond bomb highlighters but you get a little bit more product in this one and I think it's better like this because even though it's a couple dollars more you are getting more of a variety you're getting three different shades that you can use okay so let's start off with a couple of swatches so I'm gonna be doing Ooh, these feel really nice and creamy when you rub your fingers in them but I'm gonna start off with the shade fussy now I will say right off the bat I feel like I'm not picking up a whole lot of product here but remember it's really not supposed to be a whole lot of base color in these so that's probably why it's swatching on my my, um, finger like that but this one is the shade fussy and I feel like that is a good enough amount of color for it to not have a lot of base in it it's really not supposed to be like all that blinding I'll swatch another um, highlighter to kind of show y'all what I'm talking about in a minute but that first one is fussy let me see if I can build this up though just a little bit yeah like you can't really build these up too too much but like I said I think that's kind of the point of it but I think you guys can make out the color there so that's fussy this next one is Fenty Glow and you guys can see that a little bit more so there is a good amount of color in that one that is the shade Fenty Glow I do kind of feel like this one doesn't really it looks a bit more coppery compared to the um to the lip gloss I'll say maybe because this one is just picking up a little bit more pigment but I feel like this one looks just a tad bit more more coppery than it does rose gold and then this last shade is hot chocolate so that's the shade hot chocolate but I'm gonna see if I can build that one up just a little bit so this is another one where I feel like I can't build it up too, too much. But again, this one is the shade Hot Chocolate. So I do kind of feel like now that I'm seeing Hot Chocolate next to Fenty Glow, the Hot Chocolate one is looking a bit more like a coppery shade. And the Fenty Glow one is looking a bit more like a rose gold type of shade. And you can definitely see like a good amount of pink in the shade Fussy. So I do like the way that they swatch. But I do want to show you another swatch um, of a different highlight that's like really pigmented and really shimmery so that you guys can see the difference in the formulas so let's actually compare these to one of the Fenty highlighters I was going to do a Maybelline one but let's just stick with the Fenty highlighter so this is the shade Sandcastle over here and I'm picking the shade because I feel like it's more in the same color family as the other two and I just want you guys to see how this one here is just a lot more pigmented to it so it has much more of like a base color compared to the three of these 
this one is definitely meant to be more of like a blinding highlighter whereas again the three of these they are showing a little bit of color but it's supposed to be more of like a um more of like a soft glitter shade as opposed to like strong pigment like that so i hope that makes sense the way that i explain that okay let's quickly apply some foundation and then i'll do my brows off camera and then we will go into playing around with the highlighter palette as an eyeshadow so i'm going to quickly go through this but i'm going to be wearing the fenty um, skin tint today i'm going to be mixing in um, mostly shade 17 with a little bit of shade 15. Okay, my foundation is on and my brows are done. So let's start off with playing around with this as eyeshadow. I'm going to take some of my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm going to use this as an eyeshadow base for today. And I'm just patting this out just to make sure it's nice and even across my lid. And then I'm going to take just a very light dusting of the um, Fenty Powder Foundation. I'm going to take just a very tiny bit of this and just lightly set this concealer. Okay, so let's get into the palette. So I feel like I want to try to use all of the shades on my lid for today. So I'm thinking I'm going to start off with the shade Fenty Glow and maybe put that more toward the inner part of the lid and I'm gonna go in with a pretty dense brush because I want to see like exactly how much pigment I can get out of this even though I already know it's not going to be as much as an eyeshadow but I'm just curious to see so I'm picking up the shade Fenty Glow and it does look like there's a good amount of stuff on the brush and remember Fenty Glow is the one that had the most pigment when I swatched it on my hand so I'm just going to start by patting this on and then I'll see if I want to switch over to my finger, which I think I do. This one I feel like is giving off a good amount of pigment for me using a brush, but I am going to put some more on with my finger in just a second. Okay, so the thing about using the finger, I don't like how it's applying with my finger at all. It's like really um, like tight and it's like skipping on my skin. It's not applying smooth. And I feel like it's not really building up the color all that much applying it with my finger, but I just don't like, it's not a smooth application with, with the finger. So I'm going to go back to the brush and apply a little bit more. Yeah, this is definitely better with, with the brush. Yeah, it's blending out just fine with the brush, but with the finger, it just kind of like, it feels rather sticky, I want to say. All right, so that's what Fenty Glow looks like on my eyes. Now, I actually like this because I feel like this is a really nice, like, everyday shimmer. And for this to be kind of, like, more sparkly than it is shimmer, I think that this looks really nice on me for, like, every day. So now I'm going to take the shade um, Hot Chocolate. It's the darker shade. And I'm going to go on the outer portion of the lid with this one. This one is really nice too. And I just want to see if I'm going to get the same effect with applying this one with the finger. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. It just feels a little sticky. And they are supposed to have, didn't I read that they do have like a jelly-like consistency to them? Yes, it's a jelly powder formula. So that's why it's feeling like that. So I just don't like applying it with the finger, just so you'll know. But so far, I do really like how it looks on my lids. I feel like this would be something that I would use if I want to have like a little bit of shimmer on my lids but I still want to have like an everyday look and I am putting on a good amount of this just because I'm trying to build up the pigment but I just want to keep stressing that these aren't meant to be all that pigmented like eyeshadows so just you know keep that in mind. 
And um, now I'm gonna go in with Fussy and I'm gonna put this on the inner corner. Just wanna use all three of the, of the shades in this look. So I feel like right up against Fenty Glow, like I can see a difference because I can definitely see the pink in Fussy, but it is kind of blending right into Fenty Glow. But I can see a difference. Maybe I shouldn't have bought Fenty Glow into the inner corner as much as I did. I'm just gonna drag Fenty Glow up just a little bit just so that we can see more of that pink. So I'm going to pick up a clean eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to blend on top of all of the shades just to help like fuse them in to each other. So I think I'm going to take a little bit more of the shade Hot Chocolate, the dark one, and I think I'm going to um, apply some of that to the lower lash line and see how I like that. Okay, that's not showing up at all, so I'm going to go in with what I started to do originally and just put something um, matte under there. So this is one of the other Fenty um, powder foundations. This one is in the shade 440. Sometimes I use this as a bronzer. So I'm going to take some of this and apply it to the lower lash line. And then I'm going to pick up some more of that powder foundation and then I'm gonna just blend it around all of the highlighter shades. And then let's pick up a little bit more of Fussy because I feel like that's the color that's the most lacking, I'll say, in the, um, in the look. And I'll use that to highlight my brow bone. It is really hard. I'm picking it up on this um, eyeshadow brush and it is kind of hard to pick it up. I feel like I'm not picking anything up. Okay, so I'm going to finish up the eyes in just a little bit, but this is what we're looking like so far. So let me know what you think. I will say I've only had these on my eyes for just a little bit, and they're just not wearing as smoothly as an eyeshadow would, even though they're not meant to be eyeshadows. But I know in some of the um, promos that I saw that these were applied on the lids, so they're just not um, sitting as smoothly as some other eyeshadows that I have tried. But I'm going to quickly finish off the rest of my face and then we'll apply some of these on the cheek as highlighters. So I'm going to speed through this, but everything that I'm going to be wearing is going to be listed in my description box. Okay, so my eyes are all done. I did take a little bit more of the shade Fussy, the pink shade, and I also applied it in my inner corner. I just forgot to start filming again before I did that, so that's the only other thing that I did off camera. So let me know what y'all think about the eyes. I will let y'all know what I think about this as eyeshadow in just a minute, but let's move on to applying some of these shades on the face. So I think um, I'm gonna try to do like different shades in different areas of my face. So I wanna start in the center of my face and work my way out, I'm thinking. So I wanna go in with the shade Fenty Glow. That's the middle like rose gold shade and I'm going to apply this down the center of my nose which I haven't done like highlighter down the center of my nose and on my cheeks in like forever because I had just kind of like 
gotten away from highlighter. So I feel like number one, it's kind of hard to pick this up on the brush. I don't know if y'all can even tell that there's anything on the brush, but I can see it a little bit, but it is kind of hard to pick up. And I am seeing it a little bit on the nose, but not too, too much. But usually we're not going to want like a blinding highlight on the nose anyway. So we just want something to just reflect a little bit of color. But I feel like you have to like really look for it to be able to see it on the nose. So mm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. But let's move on to, um, I think I'm going to do just like above the brow kind of like in the center of the face so i want to go in with that pink shade here so i can definitely see that a little bit more and it is like picking up the light as i move around i'm hoping y'all can y'all can see it but I can definitely see it more than Fenty Glow but it is like quite subtle so now I'm gonna go in with hot chocolate that's the brown shade and same thing with hot chocolate like I can tell I know that y'all can't feel what I'm feeling but even when I kind of just like dip my brush into here like I wasn't having that problem with the eyeshadow brush because it was a lot more dense but when I'm going in with a more fluffy brush I basically have to push it in to the product to pick anything up because it's like it's just not picking up so let me try this on my cheek area and same deal here it's just not it's not really doing anything i see a little bit of sparkle but it's really not doing much Let me see if I have a more dense brush that I can try. All right, I'm gonna try this brush here. This is the brush head is a little bit bigger than something that I would use for a cheek highlight, but I just wanna try something that's a bit more dense. So I am able to pick up just a little bit more of the product on this brush, but even still, I feel like I have to like really like dig my brush into the product to pick up anything. So that's definitely picking up more, like I see a lot more of a reflex on my cheek. I don't know, I'm a little torn about um, what's going on here. Even though I do have hot chocolate on the brush, I'm going to go back into Fenty Glow with this brush. I just want to see if I can build it up just a little bit. It's not really showing up too much. I really don't want to do this, but I'm going to take my finger and pick up Fenty Glow. And um, I'm just going to try to apply it with the finger. Can you guys see how it's kind of like skipping on my skin? It's like really, um, I don't know, when you try to apply it with the finger, it just, it's not working for me. I can, that's what I can say for sure. Okay, we're gonna stop playing with it right there because I just feel like I can't get it to work on my face um, as a cheek highlight. So yeah, let me just give you guys my final thoughts. So let's go back to the eyes. So I'm hoping that y'all can see like right up in here that it is definitely creasing. And I think that's because on both of the eyes, I did try to apply it with my finger and it was kind of like skipping over my skin. I feel like if I had just gone in with the brush, it might not be creasing as much, but it's definitely creasing like really bad in my, um, on my lids. I'm going to see if I can just kind of like pat over this a little bit. It looked really pretty when I first put it on my eyes, but this is creasing so much that I wouldn't use this again as I shadow I don't know maybe because I lightly set it with a powder too so maybe I will try it one more time and not set my concealer with a powder but that shouldn't really make a difference it's like really creasing in my fold and to the point where I just wouldn't want to try this again as eyeshadow so I'm not crazy about how it's wearing on the eyes the colors on the eyes when you apply these with a really dense brush they the colors look really nice to me so like I said when I first put it on I just love the way it looked on the eyes but unfortunately I don't like the way that it wore and I haven't had it on for very long and then the way that it's wearing on the face so 
number one, it was just really hard to pick up these colors um, on a brush to apply them on the face. And then when I tried to apply them with my finger, same thing with when I apply them with the um, on the eyelids with my finger. It's just not a smooth application on the skin. So um, you definitely have to use a brush over your fingers with these. But it's really hard to pick up pigment with these. Which again, like I said earlier, they're not meant to be all that pigmented. But I just feel like I'm really not seeing a whole lot of anything on the face. And on top of that, I just feel like it's kind of enhancing my texture a little bit on the cheeks. Now, when you put anything on top of skin that has, you know, texture on it, it's going to enhance it a little bit. But I feel like this one, it's just making it a lot more noticeable. And I guess that's because of like the the tiny like glitter reflex so unfortunately I am not really feeling this palette so I wouldn't recommend it especially for $42 and I'm really surprised because like I said I haven't purchased a highlighter in a long time I really wanted to try I think it's called rosé on ice one of the individual diamond bomb highlighters a lot of people really love the diamond bombs so I was expecting to like this because I was expecting the formula to be the same as those so for any of you who bought this palette and if you also have any of the individual diamond bombs let us know in the comments like how those two formulas compare but this one I'm just not really feeling it like I'm just not I just don't like how it applied and I just don't like it so <laughs> disappointing but those are my final thoughts so thank y'all so much for watching today I really hope that you enjoyed the video if you did please let me know by giving me a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed to the channel before you head out and I will see y'all back here for my next one until then take care have a good one y'all bye